geometrical shapes are the foundation of geometry here i want to lay down the foundation about the geometrical shape right first of all before going to the geometrical shape we have to feel that there are two type of surfaces curved surfaces right curved surface and plane surface right okay to know about the plane surface and curved surface we have to uh, think about something which we see around ourselves right we usually notice objects having curved surface around us like as you see in this image like ball right orange okay and mango like this okay these are very common objects which we notice around us if you touch the surface of these object like a you will feel the nature and property of curved surface right students can feel it but if you see table book box like this then you can feel that the surface of these object are different from those of egg ball and orange right so these object these objects have plane surface right okay let's start about the geometrical shape right here i am showing you we have listened many times about a rectangle right circle and uh, other object like square cone and um, cylinder triangle sphere i am going to clear a uh, uh, idea about these objects right so here this one is the rectangle you know this they have four side okay they have four side this one this one this one this one okay and a rectangle have four corners these are called corner right and these are edges right uh, 1 2 3 4 corner and this is called their angles and these angles are 90 degree okay this is the length we designate it with l and this is the width or breadth we designate it with b later right so this is the rectangle similarly in square there are four edges four side 1 2 3 4 okay and four corners these are one corner two corner three four right and what is the difference between a square and a rectangle that its four sides are equal whereas in case of rectangle the sides are not equal only length are equal to each other and width are or breadth are equal okay and what is this this is circle okay there is no edge that means a circle has no side okay you will read in your uh, lesson uh, in the previous classes here you have read this that a circle have no sides okay it has a center point this is called center right this one okay it has a center it has a now let's watch another object this is called cone right a cone has a vertex this one is the vertex okay and this one is the plane surface 
okay plane surface and this is the edge this one this one is the edge and it has a curved surface this portion is a curved surface if you really watch a cone then you can realize it these this face are like a curve just like egg or ball okay of that nature okay this is curved okay so it is a cone what we call it cone and this one is the cylinder right so a cylinder has two number of the plane surface right uh, this one and this one are the two plane surface okay and it has um, edge two edge right which one this the this is a edge and this one is the another edge right and this portion is the curved surface right curved surface i am writing again surface it is disturbing because it is a image okay right so this has no sides it has edges now let us come to triangle a triangle has three side 1 2 3 and three vertex 1 2 and 3 this is called triangle and this is called cylinder right okay now i am not showing this one as a circle okay i am just converting it into a sphere how a sphere can be represented by creating a round circle and by creating this oblique lines okay you can create a sphere like this okay this representing that this is a round solid body we call it a sphere right a sphere okay mm. next i am telling you about two type the box one is called cuboid so i am showing you cuboid how to make a cuboid just you make a rectangle like this after that you make and the rectangle just somewhat right to the this corner like on this position like right? and try to draw of the same dimension as the previous one like this okay and join the corners like this i am doing okay this is the cuboid okay a cube like cube like structure not the completely cuboid a cuboid is have length and this is called breadth and this is called height and these are not equal that means length not equal to breadth and is not equal to height okay and if this become equal then that becomes another shape which we call cube okay so i am just drawing a cube this is like the same shape but the difference is that it has all dimension equal okay like this that means its length breadth and heights are equal suppose it is 5 cm then this will be also 5 cm this will be also 5 cm all the sides will be 5 cm so this is called a cube right okay so this were somewhat idea about the hmm, cube uh, geometrical surface okay and in case of the sphere what i saw earlier there is no sides and no edge okay 
only you will notice curved surface in case of the sphere okay that's where all about the geometrical shapes